on Thursday, January the 7th, 1943, at approximately 10.30 p.m., with the world engulfed in a struggle against the dark forces of the Nazi war machine, Nikola Tesla breathes his last, dying alone in a small room at the Hotel New Yorker. Outside, the city is alive with his legacy, glistening with the electricity from Tesla's fully realized vision of a world powered by alternating current. He was incredibly aware of the consequences of his scientific inventions and their impact on the total development of mankind. Tesla is buried in relative obscurity, a fallen giant of invention whose discoveries remain the foundation for some of civilization's most important scientific advancements. He is one of the greatest geniuses of the 19th century. Edison was one level of, 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 of science, but Tesla was many levels higher. He was a lonely character, researching independently, outside mainstream science. He must have appeared to the so-called normal world like a complete eccentric. He gave our country a tremendous uh, package of technology uh, applications and wonders, and, and our lives, uh, all our lives are collectively much better because of his work. Why has this great man been so neglected by his fellow scientists and the public? Perhaps the answers lie more in the works never realized by Tesla than in his publicly acknowledged achievements. Tesla was called a nut because Tesla also said that he could generate without any fuel, without any solar energy, without any wind power, he could generate electrical power, and he did do that. And, and that was something that the fuel companies didn't want to have happen. He was also able to broadcast electrical power through the air without any wires. And that project was stopped by J.P. Morgan when, he, when the commercial consequences became obvious. Seeing no way to make a profit from Tesla's free energy device and convinced Marconi would monopolize radio, Morgan backs off. Ironically, over 40 years later, the Supreme Court of the United States determines that Marconi copied his radio technology from patents already held by Tesla and that it was Tesla who actually discovered wireless transmission. He was trying to understand what the basics of energy and resonance were. What is the nature of the energy that's in the cosmos? What's the, what's the basic essence of the energies that come through nothingness to give us something? I think those were the questions that, were, that Tesla was intrigued with. When Tesla dies at the age of 87, his legacy of over 700 important patents slip into obscurity forgotten by nearly everyone except the US government. Tesla's possessions are sequestered in a government warehouse for 10 years following his death. Official reports confirm that the collection was microfilmed during this period. When contacted, however, no government agency revealed any information regarding these microfilms. After a decade, the government officially denies the existence of any secret weapons technologies included among the Tesla papers. Rumors nevertheless persist to this day. Whatever may have befallen Tesla's undeveloped discoveries, the inventions that remain contribute daily to our science, our medicine, and our environment. Perhaps this is what Tesla ultimately envisioned. Perhaps the missing secrets of Nikola Tesla are right where they belong. Tesla disagreed with scientists about some basic concepts of relativity theory and quantum mechanical theory, and he fell out of favor with the established scientists of the day. Tesla was very knowledgeable about quantum mechanics and Einstein's theory of relativity. Both were developed during his lifetime. And he suspected that sooner or later, quantum mechanics and relativity theorists would enter into a crisis. And that's why he used to say, the present time is theirs, but the future is mine. Sir Albert Einstein also said that once there's a bunch of little theories all over the world, there's a prelude 
to a major breakthrough in science and physics. I think that science today needs to take a new look at some of the theories of Tesla because there is more to the universe than what we are looking at and what we are observing with our scientific instruments.